till Thursday, September 9th. I just woke up from a five hour sleep. Five hour nap. <sighs> I don't know what happened. That's not what I had planned for this afternoon, but that's how it unfolded. Um, I, um, I went to go get the COVID test. I haven't gotten the text yet, um, but I should be getting the results in one to three days. I'm not worried. I know it's just a cold. But, um, yeah. Um, I had my Thursday talk with, with Gary. That was nice. I like talking to him. And, um, um, that's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about, <coughs> I went out for the first time, aside from when I went to go move my car, but I went out for the first time in, in over a week. And just walking the streets, like. It felt good. It felt good. Like, just, like that's all I kept thinking. It's just like this feels so good. This feels so good to walk outside, and just missing, missing being outside, and and realizing like, wow, like what it could do to you when you get stuck inside, and and you know, I, and it's funny because. I'm trying to remember if I've ever felt like that before. But I felt it. It's just this in, in one week. I felt it. And I get, I don't remember the last time I was sick. But walking out, and just, I went to go meet my cousin at, at her work, at the coffee shop. And it just felt so good, just going down the streets and... And I had that realization, that moment of like, I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> I don't ever want to leave. I don't ever want to leave San Francisco. I don't. I love it here. And and as I'm going down the streets, I'm I'm paying attention, right? Continue to be aware. And it's it's like this. <laughs> like, like it just. And, and I was so excited, so excited, because I, I found a little Indian job down at the grocery store. So I'm just like, yes, I'm going to go check that place out. Because um, I, was, I was thinking about Peter and, and the Mela store in Rancho. And I'm just like, oh. And I was actually thinking about that. I was just like, where am I, I going to get my Indian, you know, spice? I mean, not that I cook a lot with Indian spice, but, you know. And, and then, so I, I'm walking down the street and I'm seeing, I was like, that's not that far from where I live. And then I'm seeing all these other new stuff. Like, and I probably pass these things. Again, it's this, this constant, like, I've walked these streets before already since I moved in. It's only been like a month. I, a month, yeah. But I'm still like... Every time I walk out, there's something new that I don't pay attention to. I'm like, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like, it's like Christmas every day. That's what it feels like. It's like Christmas every day. And I'm going out the streets and looking at the streets. And yeah. So anyways, I just had that realization today. And I wanted to document it. September 9th. September 9th. Right? It's so funny. Today is the day. A year ago that I moved in to my own place by myself with the help of my ex. It was so great. And I was thinking about that the other day. Yesterday. Being grateful to him for letting me go, for letting me go, and for being a great help. Just feeling gratitude for that too. <laughs> I 
But he let me go. As much as he didn't want me to go, he let me go. I appreciate that. I appreciate him. <laughs> so September 9th will forever be the day <laughs> when my life changed. And I'm grateful for that. <laughs> so anyways, I had that realization walking down the streets. I thought walking down my street in the Mission District. And I don't ever want to leave San Francisco. I love it here. <laughs> And I mentioned that to Gary too. I said, I don't, I don't want to leave San Francisco. I had that realization. I mentioned it to my cousin when I saw her. I mentioned it right now to my sister. Because <laughs> she's, she's worried that I haven't talked to her in a while. So she was worried because I didn't sound good. And I was like, I'm fine. I feel better. It's just a lingering cough. And I said, I had the realization that I don't ever want to leave San Francisco. And she's like, I hoped you would have wanted to come home. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. I love it here. <sighs> My sister, she's like the older sister right now. <laughs> she's like, you sound bad. What are you needing? And then what did she say? She was just like, I'll be on the next flight over <laughs> if something, I forgot what she was saying because I was waking up from this five hour nap that I totally didn't expect. <laughs> She's acting like the older sister. It's just different. <laughs> it's just different. <laughs> it's a good different. Anyways, I just wanted to speak to that. I don't forget. So I don't forget. September 9th, 2021. The day that I realized I didn't want to leave San Francisco. And I love it here. Just walking. Just Even though nothing changes. If everything just stays how it is now and I'm able to get by. I like it here. I really do. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Oh, I had a weird dream, too. And I was trying to make sense of it. I just remember the ending. And there were these two little boys. They couldn't be pulled apart. That's all. I, that's what I remembered. Two little boys. They were like, I don't know, two, three, and they they didn't want to be apart from each other. It's we. It's a weird dream. It's a weird dream. That's what, that's what I remember. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please 
click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is, you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were and so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for